Reduced admission prices, a top of the table clash and virtually a full house inside Home Park. But it's no talk of league tables, championships or anything save the next game, according to boss Paul Sturrock. But with 15 games to go and the chance of a 10-point lead if Plymouth win today, then no matter how hard he tries to stop the excitement, promotion fever is infecting Home Park. Evans and Stonebridge lead the line with Tuesday's goal scorer Blair Sturrock only starting from the bench today. Fio and Steve Adams. Adams ball finds Martin Phillips. Phillips now able to cross with his right but he'll settle for the corner. That's whether it uses the maximum run he can get. Send it into Coughlin. And just over the top from Graham Coughlin. On the stroke of four minutes into the game. It's the closest Argyle have come. And it came from the forehead of Graham Coughlin. Stonebridge. Took it down well and a challenge of three. Phillips now curls it in looking for Hodges. It's a good fist from Pilkington. The goalkeeper made up his mind and it was a brave decision but ultimately a right one to come and fist as Hodges waited to head. Two arms up from Paul Watton as he whips it into Coughlin and Coughlin had found his way around the back. The signal was given and Graham Coughlin gets his second chance in the opening ten minutes to get a header in. chips the ball up it's going to come for Coughlin he might just lay it off here for Evans and I think Coughlin might have got in the way of the shot from Michael Evans as Coughlin just laid it down for the Argyle centre forward oh, he might have hit Coughlin might have hit the Mansfield man either way it didn't go in this weather Evans skips away now finds Stonebridge Phillips has gone away to his left coming through his Frio to his right Evans, now Adams, plenty up for Argyle. Worrell, Stonebridge waits in the middle, as does Frio. Evans is there, as is Hodges. Worrell has created himself the space now and looks towards David Frio. And it's a fine save from Kevin Pilkington. The man who learned his trade under Peter Schmeichel at Manchester United shows why he's a highly rated keeper. Very close to the keeper, and Pilkington saw it into his gloves. Oh, he dropped the ball and stopped Frio making contact. <laughs> Kelly just seemed to use his arm on the back of David Warrell. The referee saw nothing wrong. Stonebridge. Evans ahead of him, Hodges to his left as Stonebridge tries to muscle his way through. He's found Phillips, into the box goes David Frio as Phillips looks towards the far post but the cross always too close to the goalkeeper and an attack which started brightly finishes a little dismally. Tankard able to turn away from Worrell and cross but too close to Roman Lario there's Kelly and Greenacre they're lurking Stonebridge nudged off the ball by Reddington and Plymouth will have the free kick <coughs> Paul Watton might just fancy it from here well he does have a very strong right foot Three goals already this season. Paul Watton sporting a shiner after clashing heads in the first half. Coughlin miscontrols but gets there ahead of Kelly. Now Evans head up over for Martin Phillips. Phillips faced by Wayne Corden. Almost got it through the door but Corden came back at him well and finds Pemberton. There's no slacker. 
is tankered. Taken off his toes by Steve Adams. Adams with a lovely pass out for Ian Stonebridge. Yeah, it was a firm finish from Stonebridge, but comfortably at Kevin Pilkington. Stonebridge has been a little quiet this afternoon. Tankard flights the free kick in looking for Kelly. Back again for Alan Tankard. Has time to look as it comes off Steve Adams. And into the arms of Roman Lario. Would have been a fearsome effort to have beaten Lario from that sort of range. Adams finds Phillips. An air of anticipation when Martin Phillips gets on the ball. It's a lovely ball in! And just over the top from Ian Stonebridge. Well, Martin Phillips is excelling on the right wing. Another lovely ball into the middle, and Ian Stonebridge will have felt that he really should have done better, should have hit the target from that sort of range. Now Worrell, back for Martin Phillips, just dinks it in for Stonebridge. Worrell will have the space to run into. It will come over looking for David Frio. And again, a fine save from Pilkington. It's the second time Plymouth's French midfielder has been denied by the Mansfield keeper. Another fine save from a lovely header from David Frio. Very important ball to win. Stonebridge tries to lay it off for Phillips. Now Kelly. And the dive in from Tankard. Has conceded the free kick and Alan Tankard is going to go into the referee's notebook. Watton wants to take it quickly. The referee insisting that the wall come back the full 10 yards. Frio's going to take it quickly though. And won't catch Pilkington off guard. Watton's run first time had alerted Pilkington. So when Frio's free kick came in, the goalkeeper knew what was coming. Well, Mansfield might just make Lee Hodges pay for that as Liam Lawrence leads the charge forward for Pemberton. Pemberton strikes well, but straight at Roman Lario. French goalkeeper in a central position in the goal. And Pemberton struck it straight at him. Bess Weatherick finds Sturrock. Sturrock stopped by Reddington, but Bess Weatherick hasn't given up the chase. It's a determined run from John Bess Weatherick. He's able to keep it in, and he can force the corner. Fine play from John Bess Weatherick at an important stage of the match, just a little more than seven minutes to go. It's that kind of run that could change the game. Where are Gal to score now? Watton and Heaney wait over it. It's Watton's ball in. There's Frio! And it's in! And Plymouth have surely won this at the death. It's a great header from the Frenchman. It's his 11th of the season. And will there be a more important goal? Argyle now surely 10 points clear at the top of Division 3. Well, I thought he was actually disappointing today. Apart from he obviously taking the goal, I think uh, we looked very lacklustre the first half. We looked as if we'd played two games in a, uh, already this week. So we, I was disappointed with the way we, we started the game. We never really got the crowd behind us. But the second half, we've come out with far more pur purpose and a bit more positive for our play. And I think in the end, you know, with the chances we've created the second half, we've merited the, the result. 